Hello everyone, I'm just going to do a little video on today on uploading a file or creating a document in a Facebook group. It's a good feature of Facebook and it's a great thing if you want to share recipes, um, plans like woodworking plans. Let's just jump to it and get into it. So you go to your home page, go to manage your groups your groups and we'll jump into here okay this is a recipe group that I run so let's just get into where we go okay there are two ways that you can upload files or create a, a document so you can do it through the files here and here we'll start off with here okay there are two different ways that you can do this. You can create a document here within the group. And it's just a document. This one, you can upload a file, which will be a file as in a PDF, which is a portable document format file, or a file from your Office program, or text editor, basic text editor, they work as well. So you have options so I'll show you what a document looks like these here are documents created within the group so here we go so this is a document just created in the group I can edit the document delete save turn off notifications your usual so that is a document in the group. This here is a PDF. So I've got the word PDF there. Someone has done a doc document there. So PDF, you can download it, preview it, and I can upload a revision. So download, save to file, or open with your um, PDF viewer. So. I'll go OK. Let's come up into my download directory there. I can preview it before I even print it off. So that's the document. It's one of one. Now every little bit PDF viewer will be a little bit different. I use Linux, some people use Mac, some people use Windows. So every what you see here in my PDF viewer will be slightly different to probably what you use. So from here, I can download it if I wish, save it to file, I can print it off if I choose, so this is my printer dialog, as you can see my little wee print symbols there, and of course it shows you how many pages it is. I want to do none of that because I already have the recipe. So that is that option. So you've previewed it and of course I can upload a revision a revision so upload no, upload new revision so that was a PDF we'll go down here to a document so you can download it you can save it to file or open up with your office package I do use LibreOffice it is actually a free package and I believe it does work on Windows and Mac. Not 100% sure though, you would have to check. So I'm going to open it up and there it goes there. So this is the document and of course you can print it off and whatever. And upload a revision. So I hope that makes sense. Now, that's all files. Here you go to the uploaded files. So these are the ones that are a PDF or a Windows document or whatever. Here are the shared documents, the ones that are created here on Facebook. So this is the first one that I'm gonna show you how to do. So we are going to create a document. Click to add a photo. So 
Here's the photo. You can move it up and down or remove. So title. This is the Edmunds chocolate fudge recipe. Okay, it's not giving me that. So control V. Prints. Uh, paste. Control V, paste. Now, here, this little e square box, can I get off it? From right there, is a symbol for an image. It's a pretty common symbol, um, pretty universal. So that's what that means, an image. So I can add a photo in. So say I want to add in a photo. Like I said, this is a good way if you want to do, create a photographic tutorial. So you can add a caption. So you know, do beta if I want. Enter. And of course you can remove that. You can put it to the right of the document. Put it to the centre in the document to the left in the document or you can remove to which I am going to do I'm going to remove it because I don't want to have a photo in here now this here is you can add a header so if I wanted to go I'll just go the word header so I can make it header one Header two, we can put it in for dots, point dots. Or change it to a number. Put, put it in quotes or into brackets. So it depends on just what you want and what you're editing and what the document is about, but you have all these options of what you can do. So this is a document created in a Facebook group. Save. Publish. Reload the page and you will see the, re the document I've just created. So I can go show history, I edited the document, preview. So there you go. So I can delete it from there. And if I click back into it, of course I can do a full edit on it and add in what I want to add. So it's pretty straightforward. That is creating a document. We were going to upload a file. something about it. I've already browsed it, picked it from the computer, so it's on my desktop. Here's the PDF, dreadful name. Save. You just crank the handle here. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. There's quite a bit of data for it to do. It's reloaded. No, it has not. So we reload the page. Go to uploaded files. And there it is, right there. So I can click into it to just view it this way. So I can save it to file, or I can open it with my document viewer. And 
that's right there. Of course you can download it, save the file, open the document viewer. You can preview it on the, on the group. So if we go preview, it will open it up into a PDF viewer and it is one of 58 pages. You can then download it to wherever. You can then print it off if you choose to print off 58 pages. Um, and of course you can just view it from there. And then you can upload a revision if you choose. So you upload new revision if you have it there. And that might be something if you're doing a document that does get continually updated. So if we go back to files, then we've got all files and you can see what I've just done. We're going to upload another file. I use um, LibreOffice, which is an open, open document format, or an ODT, so I'm going to go save. Okay. So I can upload a revision or download it. <coughs> Excuse me because it's just a file. So I use LibreOffice. So I'm going to open it. And there it goes there. So it's opened up in a Office package. And of course it will just show me here all the uploaded files, the shared documents, which was created from there. So if I wanted to, I could create the pastry document from there. Just move that out of the road. And I can do it that way as well. And I don't wish to publish it. So I've got this far and I've decided, no, I don't want to go ahead with this, I don't want to save, I don't want to post. So I'm just going to leave the page. I'll just go to mark this red. And then if I reload the page, it hasn't shown up. So this is probably probably the easiest way and the best way of viewing all the files that a group has and like I said it's a fabulous fabulous part of the group and it's a great part to use for everyone to use. We go to the discussion which is our general wall where you can post anything. Now it's, as we scroll down it shows that I've posted a file. There was no photo on it And it should come in here. So I wonder if I can add a photo to that. It says upload. No, it doesn't give you the option. And here's the document that I created, the very first one with a photo in the top so you can see more and it takes you to the document. Go page up. Now you go into the word more you can add a file from there. If you use drop Dropbox which is cloud you can add a file from there or from your computer. So 
which one shall we do? Um, peanut cake. So this is from Abbey Word Writer. It's just a basic text editor for Linux. So we open that. And I can write a word in there. Now, the thing you've got to remember when you use um, something like a text editor and I'm using Linux is that some people might not be able to view that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. So if someone comes back with comments saying, oh, I can't read that or it's not showing, you're best off then just creating a document. So I'm just going to leave it as that and see what happens. We go into more and we'll create the document. So I'll do the same thing. And I'll get Control V is a paste function. So of course you can edit it as you can see. You can copy and paste like I put the title in. So you can just edit like a normal document. We'll upload a photo. actually put a link in here so I'll show you on the other one so highlighting I can make it bold I can make it italic um, we can put it my and of course we can add a link so I think we'll put bold italic and we'll move that So I'll go publish. I'll reload the page and let's just come in there, the picture. So if we go here and we did the chocolate fudge, remember that? So I want to edit it. So let's go into edit. So I can now edit this. So I'm going to go So now remember it said I could put a link in here. That's what that little chain symbol is. So what does that mean? So let's do here is where I got the recipe from. So I've highlighted it. Copy link, paste or type a link. So if I go paste and I'll go enter, see here is the link. Now if you hold your mouse over and hold your cursor over it shows you where it is. So it's from stack of recipes topic 3995 Edmunds chocolate fudge recipe. Notice how this is a different colour and it's underlined, which shows you that it is linked. Now, watch up here. I'm going to click on here and it will open up uh, I'll just go publish update first before I show you that. Silly me. And because I've just edited it, it shows you I edited it 12 seconds ago. So I'll go into here again. 
probably sees off. Now it's highlighted and if I click on it, it gives me a new tab. And here you go. Of course there's lots of other things. So it takes you to the page from where I got the recipe from. So does all that make sense? So you can actually put a link in it. So, and of course you can't do it in this stage, you have to go into edit document. So it's best done on your PC, um, have a play, you can close your document there. Um, like I said, it's a really good function. You just need to actually just get in and do it and use it. So hopefully this has given you a really good start on how to do it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've got any questions, ask. And don't forget to check out my other YouTube videos. Catch you later. Bye.